Hello and welcome to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today I have another product review episode for you and I'm gonna be reviewing the Gevy 2.0 Household Nugget Ice Maker. This is their version two of a previous model. And if you're not familiar with nugget ice or pellet ice, it's the type of ice that you get like at Sonic or Chick-fil-A. And it's really awesome. The characteristic of it is very small ice and it's in the form of a pellet and you can easily chew it. So a lot of people love that ice. And so nugget ice makers or countertop ice makers have become very popular because of that style of ice. And that is what this ice maker produces, is a nugget ice. And if I open up the door here and take out the little basket, you can see the type of ice that it makes, these little pellets. And if you take one, it's super easy to crunch down and eat, yet it's cold enough, obviously, to keep your drinks nice and cold. So if you're one that loves to snack on ice, these things are brilliant and perfect for that thing. And one thing I really love about this is it makes the ice really quickly. When you pour in the water, and you only have to wait about 20 to 30 minutes before you have a whole a glass full of ice. And then it takes about two hours to get you the full basket of ice, which is right around about five pounds worth of ice. And then what you can do is, if, you, if you're in a host, like a big party, and you want a lot of people are coming over and you want ice for them, then you can just make this throughout the day and then pour the basket into another container and just keep that in your freezer while you wait for more ice to form. Some other characteristics about this is this thing is fairly heavy. It weighs about 30 pounds and you would expect it to be fairly heavy because of the coil that's inside. It's kind of like a little radiator. It looks like a little radiator from a car. And then there's a fan on the back. And that's how it produces the ice. So you would expect it to be fairly heavy. And also there's a fair amount of insulation on the inside that keeps the ice nice and cold. About up to 24 hours before all the ice will melt, which is really neat. Another thing I like about this is just looking at it, it's a very, very sleek and cool looking design. It kind of reminds me of like a computer um, desktop tower and it just looks really neat. It's not super tall. It's about 17 inches tall and it'll fit underneath most people's um, cabinets on the, in their kitchen. And here I have right here in underneath my cabinet and you can see um, how much room is available and how it just fits pretty nicely right underneath a standard height cabinet. And then it's extremely easy to use. Um, to use it, what we'll do is we'll just open up this, and then what we'll do is we'll pour this right here. I'm gonna come over to this side, and you'll just pour it right here. and it goes down into the, the bottom, and that's where it pulls the water from to create the ice. And then you can just close this up, and then we'll start the ice maker. I'll, before I do that, I wanna point out a really cool feature is the basket has holes on the bottom, so if you were to leave this like this, the ice would melt on the bottom, and then it would just go right back into the receptacle um, in the ice maker, and then you can make more ice from the melted ice, which is really cool. I like that feature. And that slides back in really easy. And then we'll turn it on and then there'll be a blinking light in this corner over here. And that shows that it's on. And then when you wanna start making the ice, you just hold this little button. And now it's starting to make the ice. It's not super loud. Fairly quiet. But then again, it's not completely quiet. So if that noise would bug you, then either you have to be in another room or just kind of uh, deal with it. Kind of like, um, it's kind of like if your refrigerator was on kind of the whole time before it uh, got to the temperature. So that is the noise that it makes when it's on. And it's gonna completely, once you turn it off, 
then it's gonna continue to make that noise unless you unplug it. And then it has other lights up here that will come on when it's out of water. A little light indicator light will come on when it's out of water. When it's completely full, another indicator light will come on um, and it'll turn off completely when the ice machine is full. And then it's extremely easy to clean. I'm gonna unplug it here. And to clean it, what you'll do is you'll remove your ice. Also, it comes with this nice little scoop that you can use as well. So if we wanted to clean this thing, what we do is we just get some cleaning solution. We'd add some water to this, pour some water in with the cleaning solution. And you'd fill up the line here. And then we'd turn on this little button up here for cleaning once it's plugged in and then it'll start to clean. And then if you need to drain it for some reason, um, after you clean it, you wanna drain it. I'm just gonna turn this around so you can see the back side. There's these little tubes and you just disconnect these tubes. You can just take this off if you want. This makes it a little easier to take the tubes off. And then we'll just let these drain. And then you let it completely drain and then you run the, the clean cycle again. Who is this for? This is for someone who really loves um, eating ice and loves having ice on hand for drinks and stuff. If you're constantly having people over at your house and serving drinks, um, an ice maker is definitely a way to go. Um, this is so much better than the ice that you get from like the trays in your normal freezer. And if you don't wanna keep going to the store and buying ice, first of all, it's hard to buy just um, pellet ice at your normal store. It's usually the big chunky ice, um, which you can use if you want. But if you want pellet ice, it's really nice to have a, a pellet maker or a, a nugget ice a machine. Um, these are fairly expensive. I'm gonna throw that out there right there. They are fairly expensive. Um, this one I did get for free. Gabby did send it to me to review here on my channel. I'm gonna thank them for that. But they are fairly expensive. Um, nugget machines uh, range anywhere between $200 and $600, $700 for a home version ice maker. The commercial ice makers go much higher than that, <laughs> like three to $5,000. Um, so if you're constantly making drinks, if you love ice and love chewing on ice, these are really cool. And there you go. That is my review of the Gevi 2.0 Household Nugget Maker. A really cool kitchen gadget, especially if you love making ice, chewing on ice, serving ice in your drinks. Down in the description box of this video, you'll find more inf information about this Nugget Ice Maker. Once again, I am Matt Taylor, and this is In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, put them down below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down in the corner, press it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care.